Thank you, Dal. Um, our next speaker is Professor Leo Rokach. Uh, he's a professor from Ben Gurion University, and he will talk about. Sorry, um, Lior could not make it, so um, Noi Shapira will uh, be instead of him. Um, she will talk about auto machine learning, aut automatic algorithm selection, and pipeline generation. Hi. My name is Noi, and I'm a PhD student at the Department of Software and Information System Engineering at Ben Gurion University. And today I'm very happy to present you my paper, AutoGRD, Model Recommendations Through Graphical Dataset Representation. So let's start with some background. The widespread use of machine learning algorithms and the high level of expertise that required to utilize them have led to a shortage of data scientists and machine learning experts. This gap raised the need to automate certain aspects of the machine learning pipeline and towards enabling people with no data science background to profit the benefits of the machine learning. So this is how the AutoML concept grew. The term automated machine learning, AutoML, is often used to describe systems that aim to uh, automate part or all of the machine learning pipeline in order to reduce the human involvement in this process. As you probably know, the machine learning pipeline can be described in this way. So the data set, the input data set is cleaned, then features are extracted, and at this point, we should select an appropriate algorithm to generate a model which produces predictions. And today, I want to focus on the algorithm selection phase. So what is it, algorithm selection? Algorithm selection is the identification of algorithms that are likely to perform well on a given combination of data set, task, and evaluation measure. Algorithm selection is difficult since the performance of an algorithm is affected by multiple characteristics of the data, and uh, the time, it, it's also time-consuming to testing multiple configurations of uh, algorithms. So this is a need to automate this process. There are some available solutions such as AutoWeka and AutoSKLearn, but also the effective, they are computationally expensive because they require an iterative search of different configurations. In addition, most of the existing um, solution have to start the search from scratch, and for large data sets, even few runs may take several hours. So there is an alternative approach called meta-learning that aims to learn the behavior of machine learning algorithms and the features that contribute to the superiority of one algorithm over the others. This framework is usually described in this way. So we start with a collection of data sets and machine learning algorithms. For each of those data sets, we extract meta-features that describe their characteristics. Then each of the machine learning algorithms is tested on each of these data sets and its performance is estimated. The meta features and the estimation of the performance are stored as metadata. The process continues by applying a learning algorithm, a meta learner, that induces a meta model. This meta model relates the meta features with the best algorithm for each of the data set. Now, given a new data set, we extract its meta features and use the meta model to, uh, to recommend top performing algorithms. Uh, the success of this framework mainly depends on the ability to include informative features about the data at this point to extract uh, informative meta features. And one of our contributions in this paper is designing novel type of meta, meta features that I will describe later. So at this point, I want to discuss about the question why existing meta features methods are not sufficient. So as you can see in this illustration, okay, I got. 
the aggregative features such as mean and standard deviation result in the same statistical properties, even so the uh, data set a very different uh, distribution and appear very different when graphed. This, demonstra this example demonstrates the importance of graphing the data before analyzing it because these features don't discriminate the data sets. So we propose a novel type of graphical embedded meta features that models the unique distribution and the interactions between the instances in a data set. Our proposal is meta features based on data set embedding. So our work is based on the fact that the performance of machine learning algorithm on some data set depends on the latent interactions among the instances. Therefore, we model these interactions as a graph using random forest classification. Then we embedded the data set graphical representation to capture its latent characteristics. And our intuition behind this representation is that we hypothesize that data set that have a large degree of similarity are likely to induce similar performance from the um, learning algorithms. Furthermore, we suggest expressing the data set similarity by the instance interactions. And then by embedded these latent interactions, we will be inferred data set similarity with respect to algorithm performance. So how our method work? HOTA-GRD is a meta-learning uh, uh, approach for algorithm recommendation that takes as an input a data set and uses random forest classification to model the, the interactions among the instances. Then we generate a graph based on these interactions. Next, we apply an embedding method to generate the graphical embedded meta features. Now, by combining these graphical embedded meta features with a vector denoting the various classifiers, AutoGRD produces a meta model capable of recommending top performing algorithm for a previously unseen data set. And if we take a look at the previous slide, so our work is in these two points before the meta features extraction. So let's describe our method step by step. First of all, we apply the random forest algorithm. At this work, we uh, propose a method to represent data set as a graph. Our eventual goal is to generate a graph where vertices represent the instances and edges indicate the existence of a sufficiently high interactions among the instances. We model these interactions by a co-occurrence score such that for each pair of instances, we count the number of leaves in which they co-appear according to random forest classification. And I will illustrate this process now. So given a data set, we construct a, a co-occurrence matrix and random forest uh, produces multiple decision trees to classify the instances. So for example, A1 pass in W equal to red branch and then on G less than or equal to two and classify as no. This process is applied to the other instances. And finally, A2 and A1 felt in the same leaf, and A3 and A4 felt in the same leaf. So we update the co-occurrence matrix according to these values. Now, the next three, A1, A2, and A3 felt in the same leaf, and A4 felt in another leaf. So we update the co-occurrence matrix, and now between A1 and A2, there is a value of two because they uh, fell twice, and between all the others, there is a value of one. And this process is applied to the other uh, the decision trees in the forest. So the graph generation. Uh, first, we remove the weakest values from the co-occurrence matrix, and then we generate the graph. Each instance becomes a node, and the edge between pair of instances indicate the existence of sufficiently high co-occurrence between this pair of instances. At this point, we apply the graphed correlation distance method to generate an embedding representation for the graph. Now, when the embedding representation is 
getted, we, we use these uh, values of the embedding as the graphical embedded meta features that we propose. We train a ranking classifier, and each instance in the training set includes the following features. The data set name, the uh, features that obtained from the GCD algorithm, the features describing the machine learning algorithm, and the performance of this algorithm on the data set. And finally, when the training is finished, we get a ranking meta model. Now, when, given, when a new data set arrives, we uh, operate the meta features generation steps, and the meta model produces a ranked list of machine learning algorithms ordered by their predicted performance. Okay, this was the description of our approach, and now let's talk about the evaluation. So we evaluate our method on classification and regression datasets, and we compared AutoGRD to three baselines. AutoD, that is a, a, data, a meta learning approach based on statistical features, AutoWeka, and Randall Forest. Now, since our eventual goal is to recommend a top performing algorithm for a previously unseen data set, we use the relative maximum value as an evaluation measure. RMV calculates the ratio between the performance achieved by machine learning algorithm to the best performance achieved by any machine learning algorithm. So the classification evaluation results. Um, as you can see, AutoGRD consistently outperforms the other methods with significant uh, margin, and it's more uh, effective in its recommendation with an approximate um, RMV of 0 0.9. The superior performances of our method compared to AutoWeka are significant, are more significant if we consider the fact that the average running time of AutoWeka was 13 minutes on a new data set, and for our method it takes one minute. AutoGRD is also consistently better at identifying the optimal algorithm. AutoGRD a success to recommend top performing algorithm for 118 cases among 150 cases. And it's also more generic. What does it mean? So if we compare between AutoGRD and AutoD, the two meta learning approach, uh, we can see in this uh, table that this is three data sets in which AutoGRD and AutoD at the largest uh, differences in performance. In all the cases, AutoGRD outperformed AutoD with a significant margin. And this leads us to conclude that our approach is more appropriate to um, cases when the data set is infrequently used in the training set or as a um, special characteristic that may make commonly used algorithms to be ineffective. Similar results obtained also for the regression and data sets. And if we summary, so AutoGRD is a meta-learning method for algorithm recommendation based on novel graphical embedded meta features. We also propose a novel uh, method to represent a data set as a graph. And yet there are some available research uh, uh, directions, first combining hyperparameter recommendation and second, using supervised graph embedding method to generate the uh, embedding representation from the graph. So thank you for listening, and uh, have a nice day.